Okay guys, today I'm just going to answer the real quick question, how do I add a value to a column on my data table through Visual Basic Code? So I just made this real quick example where I can take a name and spell my own name wrong, <laughs> but I can add it to the table and then Add another name. Okay, just made this real simple. So let me show you how this works. We just have a data grid view, two text boxes, and an add button. And basically, just for the example, under the form load event, I just created a data table called DT and added some columns. I have an ID column that's auto incremented. I have a first name column and a last name column. Now obviously you'll pull this information out of your database and populate it that way. Uh, but once you have your columns set up and you know the names of them, then you can add. So once you click the, the add button, uh, it runs the add row to grid view subroutine. And this is basically your code for adding a row. You need to create a data row. So you want to create a new data row and you do this by uh, declaring a name as a data row and equaling it to whatever the name of your data table is dot new row and then in this case R is our new row so now we want to go in and put in all the information for each row we're going to add so our first name is coming from the text box uh, TB first name dot text and last name is coming from TB last name dot text. And then you just put DT for your data table dot rows dot add and add that row, add R. And then you can just, in this case, I took my data grid view data source and I uh, set it for that data table again. Now, and then that would be where you would save it back to your database uh, or wherever you're saving your information. And that's pretty much it. So if you're looking to add a row to your data table, that's pretty much that code right there. You just embed that into whatever you're doing, and you should be set to go. Have any other questions or comments? Uh, leave them below. Thanks for watching.